and we're live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another special edition of Let's Football Live. I'll just wait for you to uh, log in to this broadcast. Thanks, everyone, as always, for sending in your questions. Hello. Give us a wave if you can hear me all right, if you can see me all right. Hi, TBT Abhinav, Facer, Racer, Machane. Yes, a lot of talk about Super Machans and the Marina Machans and Chennai FC today because of who our special guest is. Hello, Sinan, Lali, Siddharth, goalkeeper one. Hello, Mohammed Azwal. Hello, Albin Babu. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Now, today's special guest is, uh, is somebody who's one of the biggest Indian success stories to come out of uh, the 2019-20 season of the Hero Indian Super League. Now, even before he came to the Hero ISL, he was already the most capped player in the history of Chennai City FC and also won the Hero I League with them. Then, of course, he came to the Hero ISL with Chennai FC. Now, he could have been a hockey player like his father or a striker like he was in his school days or a winger or a wingback or a defensive midfielder or a dancer, basically a complete entertainer. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Edwin Sidney Vance Paul and I'm going to get him on straight away because uh, I'm sure the Super Machans and Beast and Blues tuning into this one cannot wait to have him with us. So let's see if Edwin's with us. He in the Thank you so much, guys, as always, for tuning into this. And fire away with your questions to Edwin. There he is. Edwin, can you hear me okay? Listen, I'm, I'm very disappointed with you. Because even though you've had an incredible journey and, uh, you know, there's so much to talk about. But why have, you, why have you not put up any dancing tutorials on your Instagram page yet during this lockdown? <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it was a joy. It was a really happy moment to dance. So right now that people yeah. are like uh, having a tough time. So I don't want to uh, disturb them by dancing. So I just like keeping myself quiet right now. No, come on. The kind of season Chennai and FC had, trust me, the, your dancing kept a lot of those fans going, particularly after the, yeah. after the win. So there's, there's a lot to talk about today. Yeah, yeah, really. We can talk. <laughs> All right, Edwin, first of all, thank yes. you so much for, for being a part of this. And I'm going to jump straight to the, to the first question that I have. And it came from yeah. Sanjeev Vinod, nice and early. Uh, yeah. And he asked, how did you pick up football as your career? And what were some of the hardships that you had to endure during your journey to become a professional footballer? Because you've come a long yeah. way since St. Paul's Matric Higher Secondary School when you were wearing number nine on that jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So, uh, so how, was, how's that whole journey been for you? Yeah, like uh, like other footballers, like I too had a really hard hard time when I start football because in uh, usually in uh, South India, <clears throat> in here, like uh, people yeah. uh, don't like to take sports career. You know, they wanted their son and daughter to be a good educated person. Like you have to get into engineer or something like better in studies. So same yeah. thing happened to me and uh, during that time, we don't have much exposure, you know, uh, always parents used to pressure us to go, uh, go to school, study and like that stuff. So I too have been uh, in that situation. Like when, when I took football career, uh, it just started as a, for a school team, you know, uh, I show you the St. Paul's jersey. For that jersey, I started as a wanted the jersey and I started to take uh, effort for that and one day yeah. I got into the school team and from there uh, it happened and uh, I, I really thank my PT sir who selected me on that time because he's the one who said like oh, okay you have uh, some running skills and you can run with the ball yeah. so from that time it started as uh, as you said like the hardship is uh, Yes, uh, financially, uh, there is no support on that time. And, uh, you know, I-League happened, uh, like we used to watch I-League in TV. So, yeah. from from South, <clears throat> it's really uh, tough because you don't have uh, anyone to give idea to go there and uh, give a trial to a team and you get selected. So, it's very rare for players to come out on those days. So uh, after all this, I after all uh, the struggle, I when I came to Chennai and I got many ideas, many players to say that there is uh, trials over there and and from there I give a lot of trials. But 
uh, unfortunately i i couldn't get into any team but later after that uh, one uh, after my 24 age i got a trial in chennai city and that's how it is done and I, right now i'm playing in isl it's it's been a fabulous journey i remember watching the video that was uh, that uh, that came out from chennai fc during the season uh, you know where you spoke about how your mother used to be abroad and you know your sister would you know would clean your boots sometimes with you yeah. and you had to really work hard to be able to afford the next pair of boots i mean it's been a it's been a fabulous journey uh, tell yeah. us some of your childhood uh, memories if you have any uh, of you know playing football or maybe you know against all the odds missing yeah. school and being go- being able to go out into the field and being able to play football yeah, yeah uh, during school days you have permission to go for uh, school Uh, matches so you don't have permission to go out for other local matches you know but uh, right. i used to i used to tell my dad that i'm going to school but i used to go for that local match without his knowledge and uh, people used to say that to my dad like he is playing there uh, is he really going to school or he is playing there like that they used to complain to my father so when i come back right. he'll give me nicely you know like i ask you to go for school but you are not going there and you are playing here and there is this your yeah. journey is this your future are you going to be like uh, roam around like this and uh, those days were really uh, you know i i get used to beat up by my dad every time but uh, after one after once uh, like uh, i'm getting better names through football and he said okay you 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 just start you just go and play with it and uh, of course my sister she helped me a lot and uh, when she was young uh, really young she helped me a lot to wash my clothes because she knows it's uh, pretty much more dirty and even though she wash wash it nicely for me for uh, use for next practice and she helped me a lot in all the way and uh, really it's a uh, uh, memorable moments like i can never forget I hope I, I hope now you can show your number 8 jersey of Chennai FC to them and say listen all the school that I bunked all those shoes that you washed up in absolutely worth it. <laughs> yeah 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 all the time I bunked the school and now it yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah I I can see somebody talking about the importance yeah. of the Chennai local league and you know that's that's something that that uh that you've been an active part of you've been in Tamil Nadu for a long time yeah. growing up in Neveli and then I remember you mentioning a visit in class 11 to to see the Marina Arena for the first yeah. time and you said listen I'm not going to just come here as a fan I want to come here as a as a player you told that you you told yourself that uh, yeah. uh what was it what was it like going from school to college and deciding that maybe football can be a profession for me Yeah like once uh, like uh, I I used to visit Chennai often but I never uh, went and uh, saw Nehru Stadium Uh, so one day my one of my friend took me over there and uh, we were entering to the nearest stadium so i was amazed yeah. seeing the structure of the stadium like oh so we 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 too have a big stadium like europe countries like he said yeah this is uh, our biggest stadium and uh, there are local leagues happening over there like we can watch it so i uh, so i asked them is there any ticket or what no the, you can go watch it so we gone inside and uh, when i was watching the match like people were shouting all the local players names and they were cheering so i was yeah. telling to my friend at that time like ah, okay so if you are coming to chennai we can play this local league and he said yeah you can play in local league and you can uh, yeah. make a big name he said so that time i said to him like ah, one day i'll play sure but i but i said like i play for local league you know in that in that place i'll play for a local team so uh, so i tried and uh, i started to ask everyone like how how it possible to come here and uh, play in local league because i was in 11th standard you know like you, you can't come yeah. from neveli to direct to chennai and you can you yeah. can't get a team from a small age so i tried my uh, i trained and uh, i tried so i got into indian bank the first team i played as a local league so from there i yeah. started my career like especially indian bank that changed everything you know i played there and uh, in uh, a lot of fans knows indian bank over there in chennai so from there mm-hmm. it all started so the coach was sabir basha you know actually at that time yeah. so right now he is coaching me as well right now even now so yeah it 
it was a memorable moment for me like playing for indian bank and playing in that small it was a small crowd in uh, chennai league but it was more uh, happiest moment because that was my first time in that stadium playing with the uh, uh, fans yeah. around like 200 and right now it's more more than 200 <laughs> yeah yeah see somebody just mentioned neveli furnished to the nehru stadium and listen look i wanted to show you my screen and look what i have um, uh, right behind me oh there you go <laughs> this all by uh, yeah so my friend hash and yeah, nfc yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I kept the English one over there. Then I said, no, no, maybe I should try this. So I should always remind myself that this is not the Edwin Sydney growing yeah. up in Neveli and Loyola College. Now this is the superstar yeah. in uh, Chennai FC squad. But you mentioned oh. uh, Raman Vijayan. Oh, sorry, you mentioned yeah. Sabir Pasha. I also wanted to talk to you about the impact of yeah. Sabir Pasha and uh, Raman Vijayan. There was a question yeah. um, from Carlos John who asked yeah. about your school coaches and some of the coaches who shaped your future in football. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah. that? yeah uh, because i i have grown in a place where uh, all the sportsmen have been uh, like they got work over here so so the place where i am living and i am grown up all like all the sportsmen are here so they'll guide they guide if you are like doing a sports even if you are a basketball player or a football player they'll guide you uh, when you practice they used to come and say like ah you are practice like like this no 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 you have to train like this and they used to teach you every time so i've been yeah. uh, in a in a circle of lot of sportsmen so they used to guide me every time when i practice oh don't do like this start to do like this and train like this so there are lot of coaches i can tell like many names like ravi uh, charles and um, krishna and uh, stephen these all the yeah. uh, these all the senior players who who mold up a lot for me because they were uh, like encouraging me to do better in ground during game and uh, as and practice as well yeah yeah I, and uh, raman vijayan in particular because i keep interacting with him when he comes to our studios and you know it's it's such he's still scoring goals by the way in tournaments abroad so he's yeah. <laughs> he hasn't stopped playing by any means he's he's, he's some yeah. player raman vijayan yeah raman vijayan is like a brother uh, to me like uh, starting you know when i was playing in school yeah. time like all the people used to say raman vijayan na uh, is coming we call him anna every time so they yeah. say like he, he used to play all the black tournaments is happening in neveli you know he used to come yeah. and he used to play we used to watch from outside and i have played against him as well so but uh, they won uh, we lost at that time it's So, so he too have uh, he too have spoken me spoken to me about uh, coming to Chennai playing for local league yeah. and you then and he he taught me what is professional leagues you know he knows about i league and he talked to me a lot about i league how to be professional you have to be disciplined he and uh, he told about all the stuffs what is happening uh, outside tamil nadu and uh, he was the one yeah. who pushed me to uh make a fixed mind to play in i league and uh, and the indian national team so he he have a big part uh teaching me in full yeah you just recently got a call up for the national camp as well we'll we'll touch upon that uh, a little yeah. later but uh, speaking of some of your you know uh, former teammates we spoke of the coaches who had an impact i mean there are guys like susai raj both regin and michael susai raj uh, who you know had who, I, who, who you played alongside Nando Kumar comes to mind as well. Yeah. Tell us some of these. Uh, tell us about some of these players. You know, coming from the same state and now making a name for themselves in different parts of the country, Edwin. Yeah, uh, as uh, Rajin is like a most senior for us, uh, senior for me and Susay yeah. and Nanda as well. So he is my senior in college. So when I joined college, he's he got job in and he went to Bangalore. But we know that uh, we all know that uh, he's a better player in our college days. because he he played all the universities and he got a best player in midfield and he had a name yeah. he had a name in our college so we used to uh, we used to see him as a big star of our college days and susay as well we played together in universities and uh, really we had a fun time during during all the time right now even right now also we have a good time and nanda yeah. is uh, is from another college so we have a uh, like we are enemies like that 
<laughs> during college days like uh, he he played for his college team and we used to play for our university and it's really yeah. a great that we we all are right now in a big stage in indian football and we are like together playing in that league is really awesome and really uh, i can't say that in word like i can express it it's really awesome Yeah, absolutely. And somebody just mentioned how Regin's the yeah. best midfielder that they've seen, and that yeah. kind of set the benchmark for a lot of you guys uh, to follow as well, including uh, yeah. Susa. I'll I'll talk about the final because you were up against both Regin and Michael Susa Raj, uh, you know, in, in that final of uh, yeah. ISL 2019-20 a, li- a little later on. But I'm going to play um, a fun round with you. I call this the Tiki Taka round, Edwin. I yeah. don't know if you've heard of it, but basically, I'm going to give you uh, some clues, and you've got to guess the player I'm talking about. Okay. okay. It, it shouldn't be so. It shouldn't be so difficult for you. I think you're the kind of guy who's going to crack this. So let me go with the first player. The yeah. first clue for Tiki Taka is: I scored my first ever goal for India in the historic 4-1 win against Thailand in the AFC Asian Cup 2019. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> who is it? Come on. <laughs> all in all, Tapa. All in all, Tapa. Yeah. Well, I mean, these. <laughs> He's a. What's it been like playing with Anirudh Thapa since we mentioned Thapa over there? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's so young and he's so like uh, he 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 act like more mature. You know, uh, I never seen a player like so humble, and uh, he used to guide me. You know, uh, through matches. Even though I make mistake, he say, "Okay, bye. Okay, bye. No problem. You just carry on. I'll be supporting you." And he support me a lot yeah. because. During game, it was really tough for me to adapt on that in that position. But he's the one who make me to do more stuff in that position. Like he's really a good guy in uh, inside ground and uh, outside as well. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, he's uh, he's great on and off the pitch as well. Lovely yeah. to talk to. Wonder boy. Somebody said I call him boy wonder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know who knows? Maybe maybe one of those future India leaders as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. I'll I'll come to the I'll come to the second one. Um, yeah. The first clue is I won the best midfielder award in the I League 2017-2018 season. 2017-18. Best midfielder. Is there any other clue? <laughs> there is. I can give you for up to four clues. The second clue is I was the joint top scorer for Jamshedpur FC in 2018-19 season with four goals. Ah, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <easy now. laughs> yeah, it's easy. Obviously, it's uh, Susa. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Susa, any funny memories of you know playing with Susa Raj? Has, has he ever been on the opposite team and he's tried to tackle you hard, or you've tackled him and you've injured him, or something like that? Not injured, but uh, we had a fight during college time. We had a fight uh, during matches, so it was uh, like it's a it's our college uh, trophy, so we made it to final. and during yeah, final yeah. we had a small fight in a tackle so that was a starting time we used to talk so that time we had a small tackle and we had a fight over there and we both had a card and okay, uh, okay. and it it gone well like after the final we we we, we were normal and we used to talk normal but in during how did the you guys, had, how did you guys patch up because uh, because that that one is college tournament and later we have to play for university together so that's the thing okay. so we just uh, mutual understanding we finished our fight and we talked to each other and we had a good time after that hugged it out good one yeah. okay this the the next one now i was part of chennai fc since 2015 but didn't play a game till the start of the 2017 2018 season 2015 Mm, you mean this man uh, has been a part of chennai since 2015 but did not play a game yeah. till the 2017-18 season ganesh so that would be that's right that's yeah. right sanpal <laughs> ganesh yeah i watched yeah. one of your videos actually of you uh, trying to you know hit volleys and you know there, there was this off the pitch challenge uh, that ah. chennai fc had organized what, what, what's the relationship like with sanpal ganesh yeah it's uh, we have been in a relation like uh, he was studied in a sports hostel in navelli so we had a yeah. long long childhood connection you know like from 
seventh grade like he was in seventh grade me i was in sixth grade so we were starting to play from that that time itself so we had a good relation uh, from the childhood so it was nice to play again with him it was like a reunion after so long year yeah so we had a good connection till now and we used to talk every time about what's happening uh, all around and my my good friend vinod ramnath is is also on this broadcast he wants to know why is ganesh called acha can you please explain to our viewers why is he called that <laughs> acha really it's uh, <laughs> even even uh, i too don't know how how he got the name because uh, it's weird like i don't <laughs> i too don't know about that like uh, acha really no worry, uh, we, we might we might call him we might call him to find out what the real reason yeah, yeah. okay we we Uh, we let we let we let Vinod call him. Okay, ne- the next one, the, the the final one in this round is. Yeah. Um, I began my I League career with Chennai City in the same season as you. Nanda. Ah, easy, easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. also uh, he was also named in the list of probables by Igor Stimats ahead of the Kings Cup in 2019. Yeah. Uh, couldn't make the final cut, but it's it's amazing how you know all three four of you kind of yeah. played your football together. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, are constantly knocking down the door of that national team. It must be yeah. a good feeling. Yeah, it's a better feeling because right now uh, you can think like uh, people from South India can make it to uh, biggest level, like playing for national team. So some of the football yeah. players who are budding football players, they they can have a hope like to make it to Indian national team in the future. Guess who else is online? Rafael is online. Somebody who scored from about fifty fifty yards yeah, out Rafael. for Chennai yeah. NFC this season. He he says you are beautiful and he and that he loves you. <laughs> he he don't have any other work, I think, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Master Rafa is here. Stay safe is uh, is what Rafa is yeah. saying. I hope he's he's safe as well. Yeah, wherever he is. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about let's talk about Chennai NFC and 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 the and the previous season, twenty nineteen twenty had been. You know what was that feeling like when you got the got the CFC contract? You know we we mentioned how you never you never wanted to be in the Marina Arena in the Nehru Stadium just as a fan. You wanted to put on that jersey and you wanted to play football for Chennai NFC, and that happened. What was that feeling like when you got the contract? Yes, uh, it was really emotional at that time because uh, I was trying to get in a ISL, but uh, I I never thought that Chennai are giving me a chance to sign a contract. I never knew. but uh, one day i got a call from uh, my uh, chennai city owner so he asked me to come and uh, yeah. just just visit my office once like uh, we need to talk like he never said that uh, uh, we have a contract paper or anything after going there he said like ah chennai are interested on you like they are wanted to sign you like i was i was asking him like really are they want to sign me or or just you are just kidding me like he said yeah they have sent me send me the contract like it's been one week the contract is here you have to sign that's it so then i signed and uh, and he said that don't say anyone and you should not say until they announce and i couldn't i couldn't keep myself silent you know i told all my friends at that time like don't please don't say that i have signed to chennai nfc i i informed everyone because of joy and uh, after after few few days they announced my like i signed for that and people get to know and they started to text me and it was really a big feeling because playing in a in a home home stadium you know uh, it's really yeah. a big moment i was waiting for the isl to start during pre season i used to say all my friends that ah, i am waiting to season to to be started and i am waiting for the first home matches and it was really nice yeah. feel until now i don't forget uh, that that day when i signed yeah because i remember watching it in the video that chennai put out uh, that yeah. you actually never even read the full contract before you yeah. signed it you said you signed the contract and then you read whatever had to be read in terms of yeah. you know just in case just in case there were any problems <laughs> what yeah yeah because i don't want to like don't want to waste time reading that so i just sign and i just uh, just want to give up all the paper sign that's it I yeah. was happy because because I was so happy to be a part of Chennai FC because uh, I really like to play here in Chennai, and uh, it was it was a dream like that. 
just like that edwin there are there are so many people asking you to dance i don't know how you can do that sitting down but maybe no. maybe later <laughs> maybe later on maybe later on a bit of a jig <laughs> with the shoulder because i remember watching all of that cuz i had to do some commentary on it right because those visuals yeah, start coming the moment the you. match is over and yeah because of you my name got changed completely and people calling me in that name you know <laughs> <laughs> listen i take no responsibility for edwin dancefall you are still edwin sydney wansfall for me <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice it right. was nice to hear that day yeah it's it, it was it was so much fun and i mean the the story as well right from from where you guys were to where yeah. you reach is it's it's a it's a fairy tale fairy tale story which is what yeah. i wanted to come to next because you know you were playing at the marina arena now as a boy you wanted to play there you realize your dream but it was a tough start to the season yeah. what was the chat like in the dressing room you know like rafa was on the on the broadcast right now people like rafa the senior guys what were they telling you how can you can i bounce back you know from a situation like that yeah it was a tough time for everyone even the management all everyone had a tough time because uh, we were training hard and uh, unfortunately we don't get our result it's really mentally upset all the players as well but uh, yeah. all the foreigners you know uh, goan uh, rafael and everyone andre all they were like all confident on us because uh, we were the one who have to push the team so they used they ask us to give more 100% and 200% during training and they were pushing us harder day by day uh, you know go and uh, really he, he kills me every time during training you know because he used to shout at me but but he's a nice guy who wants to yeah. who wants the team to do better even though we lost when the when 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 match starts he used to say like okay today if you are losing it's okay no problem but we have to lose in a good manner so yeah. he's the one and uh, rafael all the all the foreigners used to push indians uh, most of the time because they are the people who give us more motivate in all the way and especially uh, yeah. oven you know when he came uh, he really gave a boost up for all of us and he trusted us he yeah. believed us and he made us to finish this league in a good manner yeah let's let's talk about uh, oven coil as well because there were there were lots of questions that came in about you know your relationship with uh, with the new coach oven coil because he he inspired a comeback like no other in the history of uh, of the league and i think the, the the second best comeback is also by chennai nfc which was i think in season 2 when you know yeah. chennai were down in the dumps okay. and then went on to win the trophy so yeah. there was a question from madhavan pillai uh, who says how was your experience playing under new coach because owen coil must have said something to you guys in that dressing room that you guys didn't just push for playoffs you yeah. wanted to win the isl yeah yeah he was uh, he was the one who stuck in our mind that we can do it so he is the one who who really changed the atmosphere uh, in the dressing room like uh, yeah. even 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 in the practice day one he started to say us like uh, you can do it so end of this end of this all game you will see who will be in the final like that he used to say every time so like that it happened so even though we lost one game in the middle uh, with odisha and uh, he never gave up on us like he used to say like okay we still have the matches so we have to push ourselves we have to show we have to give all our uh, all our stuff inside the ground and we never regret when we are coming out so yeah he made a he made a different impact like no other way like uh, we were down like all the all the all the support and all the belief have gone at that time but he came and he have given lot of boost and lot of belief in each one of the player yeah so he made me to play in a midfield after a long time you know and i at at that time i asked him whether am i am i correct am i fit to that position i asked him so he said like i believe you and you play your game and uh, automatically you will play better like what he said i i did my best in the field so he used to say every time look who is playing well look who is doing great job there so you are doing well so you do so he is the one who push uh, this team to this far and really the all the credits goes to coach no matter what yeah certainly an, an unbelievable story really and some of the great tactical decisions you started 19 of the 20 games that you played for uh, chennai nfc and uh, i think uh, 
the, the news that we got was that you were a bit jaded, you were a bit tired in going into the final. So German started ahead of you. That's the yeah. only time you came off the bench to start for Chennai NFC. Yeah. So that was, you know, the, some little tactical tweaks that, that Owen Coyle did were fabulous. Yeah. And apart from playing you in two different positions as well. I'll touch upon your versatility as a player, but I've got to take some fan questions. So yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play one touch. Uh, let's football round number one with you. I've got two rounds ready for you. So the first round is basically all the fan questions and you've got to try and answer in one word or one sentence. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> okay let's go. Must dot Muhammad asks, who's your best friend in Chennai in FC? Best friend in Chennai in FC, Jerry. Jerry Lalrinzwala. Okay. Um, one touch world of football asks your long range efforts in ISL last season were quite impressive. Any special training for those? Did you do any special training? No, not at all. Efforts? It's just uh, it's just a moment. Like uh, if taking risk during the match, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, it's like a it's like a second you have to think and you have to do because if 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 the long range I took has gone out, sure uh, gone gonna kill me from behind. <laughs> Thank God that oh, you make went me. to the target. <laughs> You make Goyan sound really scary. He was very friendly with me on the on, on the broadcast. No, not at all. <laughs> we had a good relation during training and matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, great guy, Goyan. Uh, Mister Unforgettable eighteen asks your favorite match in this season. Uh, the match against uh, FC Goa in their ground. In their uh, oh, in their I mean, ground. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was all right, really okay. interesting because we were like. Uh, uh, semi-final and they are started to scoring like the match tension was high. Yeah, really, a really interesting match. We I loved match, uh, enjoying playing there and uh, in their crowd. Really. All right, fair enough. Okay, yeah. who's the best dancer, Tangri or you? Tangri. Tangri <laughs> and German. German. You never know. These two are like uh, professional dancers. You know. I saw, I saw, I saw this after that Mumbai match got over. We got into the semi, and these two were dancing for uh, two hours, I think. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I can't blame them. I can't blame yeah. them at all. After uh, after the start, you guys had. Who's the worst dancer in that dressing room? Chante. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just say he's a pretty good footballer. You should stick to that. <laughs> yeah, but he he have a dance plus uh, uh, like. Uh, um, Strengthening, you know, he work as a Zumba, you know. Yeah. Yes. He he dance like he's like doing workout, you know. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like he he add. I'll remember add, that. Yeah, he add both in one. <laughs> okay. Next time, next time I next time I meet him, I'll remind him that Edwin had said <laughs> this about you. You dance like you work out. Brilliant. Okay, who's the best singer in that dressing room? The best singer. Rafa. Rafa. Okay. Well yeah, done, Rafa. Yeah. Yeah, he, he tried to sing Hindi songs as well. Oh, wow. Not bad. Like Goyan would sing Punjabi yeah. songs and so yeah. would... Uh, yeah, same. Son. All like yeah. Uh, all like one song. So, I too don't remember that song actually. But German's best song. So, that uh, that usually run all the way when we go to our match day. Okay. So they I'll, to... I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, who's the worst singer in that dressing room? Worst singer? Yeah, who should not sing at all? Um, obviously, my friend Ajahn. Obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope he's not listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to ask him two things. Why is he called Acha and uh, why is he the worst singer according to Edwin? All right. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> okay, there's a question from A underscore KK underscore... You, you, you. Ah. Uh, it's an interesting handle. Uh, favorite player in ISL? Who's your favorite player? Uh, my favorite player is Bumos. You go Bumos? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, then Eldos MV asks, who's the best ever player of ISL according to you? Ever player, I can go for Mendoza. Mendoza. Oh, yeah. Fabulous player. Yeah. Do you know you wear the same jersey number as Koro, by the way? Who would who would be a close second box possibly to Mendoza in terms of the best players? Koro wears eight and Edwin Sydney also wears eight. <laughs> there have been some famous... Yeah. Yeah, been, I I, I'm waiting for that first goal for Chennai and FC, by the way, since you're wearing the number eight now. Yeah, me too. I'm too waiting for that. <laughs> 
I, I was doing some research thanks to my friend Aditya Varthi who does a lot of stats work and he told me the famous number 8s Christian Hidalgo has won 8 for Chennai Godwin Franco Manuel Eblazi uh, Jaime Gavilan uh, Carlos Salom who was a striker for Chennai and now Edwin so you 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 got some company uh, as far yeah. as number 8 is concerned but yeah Mendoza absolutely what a what a player he was for Chennai FC and then went on to do big things after that as well Yes. Jarman Christian had a question which is your favorite club in India which is obvious you're going to say Chennai FC so let me ask you which is your favorite opponent in ISL uh, everyone like i like bangalore fc you you uh, you like bangalore fc as an opponent okay fair enough yeah okay uh, even our fans as well Yeah, <laughs> no that. <laughs> Ana Anashwara underscore Anus asks, "What would another profession Edwin would take if it was not soccer? What was what would be the other profession you'd have if you weren't a hockey player? If you weren't a football player? <laughs> yeah, maybe a hockey. Like I go in a, a dad's way. <laughs> yeah, your dad was a hockey player, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, Vinayak underscore KL fourteen asks, "Who's very serious on the field in your team?" Somebody who's you very know, serious all the time. You know the answer. All know the answers. Go on. Somebody who's very serious. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on. Of course. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, he's very and, serious. Uh, yeah, that's strange because every time I meet Lucia and Goyan, I I I'd never imagined him to be that serious. But who's no, the funniest? No, no. Who's the funniest? Uh, Andre and Elisabia. Eli and Andre. Okay, yeah, yeah, two very good players again. B. Pesh asks a question. Your favorite food? Uh, yes, of course it's biryani, but right now I'm not having it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, right now. But right now you can, right? You're in the off season. Yeah, but I'm trying to control myself. Like I am, I'm training myself to keep a diet because uh, all the players are doing that. So I'm trying to do that as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. And your favorite movie? Ah, uh, in Tamil. Anything I wouldn't I might not have watched the Tamil one so you can name it. Uh, okay, I'll go for uh, Hollywood. I like Creed, and uh, Creed? Okay. Yeah, I like Creed. All the and the Rocky all all part. There's so many Chennai fans on this. You may as well tell them your favorite Tamil fil- film as well. Tamil film, I can say, uh, Thani or one. All right. I hope. I I wonder how many guys uh, also find that as their their favorite. Give us your replies on this chat with Edwin. <laughs> There's another question from Ratnam underscore Legend Eleven, and uh, also from Football World. Why do you wear the jersey number eight? Is that your favorite football number? Uh, not fa- not favorite. Uh, I don't have any favorite football number, but uh, my name starts with Edwin. So people here used to call me like Edo Eight, like that. Edo, they call me Edo in short form. So yeah. from that from that thing, like I uh, I just got to attract to eight number. That's it. Nice one. And yeah. uh, final one in this uh, one touch let's football round from yeah. Bala SP, who says, "Who can be your perfect midfield partner in the national team or uh, in Chennai in FC?" <laughs> of course, I I have a great understanding and uh, I love to play with Tapa. Talapati Tapa. <laughs> that's what that's what somebody just called him on this on this chat. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Talapati fan. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, now speaking of versatility, you know, since since somebody asked you about your midfield partner, that's something that you know we've we've come to observe. Yeah. You're easily one of the the biggest stories to come out of you know ISL 2019 20. Even my screensaver says uh, superstar Edwin now. Uh, so. So I, I wanted to know, like you know, you started as a as a striker when you were playing for your school days, and you were shifted yeah. to a winger when foreign strikers were brought in at the club level, then wing back, and then defensive midfielder. You also played as a centre back. Apart from being goalkeeper, I think you've done everything, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only only goalkeeper. I have never tried. <laughs> but but what but what's the story behind all this? Is is it just Edwin the team man ahead of being the individual first, or is it something no. that you've done because the coach has asked you to? Yeah, because uh, because I always prefer what coach needs and uh, what he has. I have to do. That's how it's done. Uh, that's how I'm doing myself. Because if a coach asks you to do as a striker, okay, coach, I'll try my best to do. And if he asks me to play as a winger, like okay, then I'll do. 
but after coming yeah. to a professional club and i used to i used to see and i used i used to learn from all other players who who is doing in that position you know before i'm coming to playing as a midfield i used to ask german i used to ask tapa how are you doing like how you people are playing in this position like like i used to learn from them and i i learn i i learn seeing as they are playing so that's how i'm playing in that position um and i'm giving my uh, like small person to the team yeah as long as long as the team wins right and you you're ready yeah. to adapt and you're ready to adjust just yeah i i just wanted to give my part whatever the coach needs and that's how i'm playing all the position and yeah. i i have learned all the position as well by the past years because i played in wing back more than 20 matches so i am just well known to play in the wing back and then midfield oh uh, yes I, i have been playing long years in midfield before coming to wing back so yeah so it's all about learning in football like every day you have to learn and that's how i am doing so i am learning 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 every time i'm learning seeing players somebody just says that sabir pasha had once said that edwin never says no there is no i in team but there is a win in edwin how about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he used to say like he is the one who change all the position during those time in indian bank he used to make me play as a striker as a wing back and a midfield and he used he used to train me in every position and that time he used to say like uh, players who are who says like uh, like i can do like he can make it to the team so yeah. maybe that that way made made me to do <clears throat> what coach needs so so that's it fantastic a uh, long yeah. mate continue edwin this is uh, yeah. it's great to hear that there was a yeah. there's so many questions about the the isl final everybody wants to know okay chennai had a great run they you know they they beat the yeah. isl shield winners uh, convincingly in the in the first leg of the semi finals then the final comes so surya ramachandran wanted to know what were your thoughts before during and after the final and was this the biggest match of your career tell us what the feeling was like when you you know when you stayed on in goa and you knew that i'm we're staying here now and we're going to be playing the final behind closed doors yeah it was a it was like, like a special moment playing in a final in a first year i was so excited to be a part of this team and playing in a final in a closed way like it was a new experience like without no fans as a final is happening and we were ready we were like like giving all the effort for the finals but unfortunately it was not our day uh, it was really uh, so sad like running all like we were uh, doing well in the league and we were we had a good run and without yeah. getting something like finishing in a good way not finishing in a good way like make us feel so bad you know we know that after this we going to have a big gap and we we have a big holidays coming so but we are not happy to go at that time yeah after after the final we we don't we don't feel like we are going for a holiday we were we were so sad and it was it was it was also a like it was also like a big experience for all of or for all of us and especially me it's a big lesson so from this i have to learn a lot and uh, we'll do better by next season as well yeah and uh, especially after the final I, mean, i i remember there were visuals and i was telling lucian this as well when we were chatting of visuals yeah. of vita dani asking everybody to get up abhishek bachchan saying and never mind guys yeah. it's okay because you yeah. had such a such a great run what yeah. was the chat like with you know owen coil abhishek vita dani ma'am all these people who who came up to you into the dressing room maybe and you know spoke to you after the final yeah as a player we had a <clears throat> we had a uh, bad feel uh, like we can't able to give our best in the field but uh, our owners and uh, fans and all other who watched the match they were really praising us after the match and uh, and they were like encouraging us even though we have not win the tournament but they were like yeah. encouraging us in all the way like uh, you are the best you you are you you have done a great job because this season you just made a memorable one and in some way we felt happy that some people are happy because of this and we came this far and they are happy uh, for us like we were happy to hear that those words from the fans and others as well yeah of course our owners are very very supportive you know they were like encouraging even though we lost 3-1 they were like okay get up 
you are you you are you have given the best and you are you people are the best don't worry and they were like amazing person they were so humble to give us more uh, words to encourage us and there is no way to express our feels to our owners and coach yeah certainly there were great scenes at the end of that final yeah. and then great gesture shown by both teams as well to you know play behind closed doors yeah. but still uh, fabulous contest yeah. and yeah. well credit to uh, atk to both uh, michael suicide raj and uh, regin yeah. <laughs> you know who went on to eventually become uh, winners did you guys have a, did you have a message exchange or did you guys talk to each other after the final or was it like yeah yeah even before the match uh, we used to text and we used to say like ah, okay today final na nah, okay I just for for fun i just we both used to ask like ah, okay who are the team 11 is there any changes like that we used to ask <laughs> like, like we used to have a funny conversation like ah, okay okay yeah. we have a plan for you and this and that and we yeah. we make we used to make fun of each other and after final we were like rushing towards the they were rushing towards to the flight because they had a flight around 2 o'clock and he messaged me like okay don't worry uh, you played a great game and i was texting him back yeah okay man you were uh, you people be happy we do, we are not happy right now so i'll text you at the morning like that so we had a conversation okay. after the match so like small conversation all right okay as long as it ended well that yeah, that's yeah. that's good to know <laughs> All right, time for uh, one touch. Let's football round two, where yeah. you're going to lose some friends because you'll have to pick one or the other. Okay, so let's 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 try this. Um, Idli or dosa? Dosa. Filter coffee or tea? Coffee. Filter coffee. Oven coil or Akbar Nawaz? Oh shit! <laughs> I told you you're going to lose some friends. <laughs> uh, Oven. Okay, Michael Sousa Raj or Nand Kumar? Oh shit, this is again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want both. <laughs> Listen, if you had to pick one to save your life or one to share your biggest secret with, and you don't want anybody else to know, who would you pick? Michael Sousa Raj or Nand Kumar? I made it easier for you. Both will kill me. Don't know. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm just going to pick uh, Reg and Michael then, uh, because you didn't pick any of these two. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Rafa or uh, Rafa or Valskis? Oh, again, Rafa. Sorry, Narka. Okay, Rafa it is. <laughs> <laughs> Goyan or Eli Sabia? Eli Sabia. I don't want to go with Goyan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you scared me about. Yeah, you scared me about Goyan as well. <laughs> All right, dancing with friends or dancing with fans? Of course, dancing with fans. Nice, nice one. a uh, 4-1 win versus goa in the semis or 6-3 win versus kerala somebody asked a question about uh, you know winning in kochi <laughs> yeah it's kochi was nice 6-3 <laughs> so 6-3 win versus yeah. kerala okay fair enough defender or midfielder what do you like midfielder half midfield half win back no <laughs> okay bit of both why not yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, a bigger rival, Kerala or Bengaluru? Kerala. Kerala. Okay, yeah. See that that somebody somebody just asked a question about how was it like to silence the crowd in 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 Kochi? Is that something that 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 was discussed in the dressing room when you went into that match because Chennai looked you know really focused and really on point in that game? Yeah, uh, on that match, you know, it was a rival match and uh, it was like we have to win all the matches at that time. it was a coach who asked us to push ourselves so this was the match uh, all the people wants to see so you go there and just play uh, all out so we go there we gone there and uh, we given all our effort on that field so that day was memorable like uh, like we were <clears throat> we were showing all the team that we are there yeah yeah Yeah, and a great result for Chennai as well. In in a sequence of good results that you guys had, and and you know we we wish you all the best going forward as well. But before that, I I wanted to quickly know what does Edwin Sydney want to achieve from uh, from from football? What is what do you want to achieve in terms of you know the national team or Chennai FC? Because you've been called up for the national camp before the Qatar game, unfortunately because of the yeah. pandemic, yeah. that that didn't happen. But uh, what are your targets? Your immediate targets? Your long term targets? 
not in, i just want to play football enjoy and i just wanted to uh, inspire uh, other generation like coming up footballers have to achieve more even more than what i am doing now so i just want to inspire the small ones so i keep on telling that there is a big hope so uh, like i told you first like people here like uh, consider sports career as like there is, there is no way to survive but i i tell them there is there is a big world there that you can achieve more and you have a you have a if you have a guts if you have a if you have a strong heart you can achieve more and i want to inspire like that so i'm sure that uh, in a future in coming years there will be lot of players from my place and from my from my uh, city will be playing in a big leagues and big stage If anybody has followed your your story, you know, watch some of your football. Yeah. They'll be really inspired. Edwin, thank you so much. And your yeah. your your final your your message to the Super Marchands, the B Stand Blues, all the Chennai NFC fans. Come on, say it out loud. Since you can't dance sitting down, you may as well just tell them. <laughs> they are they are always like uh, my two eyes, and uh, they are always together in my heart. So sure, uh, we'll meet soon uh, in this pandemic, and I ask them to be safe. and be with family enjoy your time with family and uh, football is coming soon so we'll be ready for that you're a superstar young man uh, all the yeah. very best going forward thank stay safe yourself thank you so much for doing this with thank us you. and uh, thank you. we'll catch up we'll catch up with each other soon yeah sure sure thank you thank you and it was a pleasure to talk with you all and talk with you nandri <laughs> nandri 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 yes <laughs> yeah just champion all right yeah so sure. bye thank you bye bye thank you thank you all thank you once again a lot of fun on another episode of uh, let's football live hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for all the the early bird questions all the questions during uh, the live session as well that was edwin sydney vance paul uh, what a fabulous player he turned out to be for not just chennai city fc but then eventually for chennai nfc in the in the hero isl continue sending us your questions your recommendations your feedback I'll see you on the next episode very very shortly until then stay safe stay at home see you next time bye bye